Foot volley returns to the beaches of Rio de Janeiro for the first time in five months, as Brazilians dare to hope that the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic might be behind them. The number of new cases has levelled off in recent days, but the World Health Organization is warning there's no room for complacency. And there is absolutely no guarantee that that will go down by itself. Um, we've seen this in other countries. There is a plateau. There is an opportunity here now for Brazil to push the disease down, to suppress the transmission of the virus, to take control. Committed shoppers can still be seen on the streets of Beverly Hills, but elsewhere in California, teams of military doctors are being deployed to make up for hospital staff shortages. Confirmed infections in the United States are now fast approaching the 4 million mark. In New South Wales, lengthy queues have been forming outside testing centres. Australia was largely spared by the first coronavirus wave in spring, but new cases have been rising rapidly for two weeks now, and the government's been forced to cancel an upcoming session of Parliament to deal with the crisis. Australian doctors say they've created a new blood test for coronavirus that generates results in just 20 minutes. Tehran's airport has reopened for international flights despite the Iranian government warning that infections are surging. Authorities say they can't afford to impose a lockdown because of the economic damage it would cause.